Hey, Tiger fans, Ben Rosenbaum here for the Towson Sports Network for this week's edition of the Tiger Basketball Report. And as always, I'm joined virtually this week by the head coach of the Tigers, Laura Harper. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. So uh, recording this the day after Morgan State, but before we talk about Morgan and and look ahead to Princeton, uh, I want to rewind a little bit and talk about a really great performance by your squad down in Florida in the Fort Myers tip-off. You go one and two down there, but it was a competitive, it was a really tough one and two, Uh, had Pitt on the ropes, played Maryland really tough, and then defeating DePaul. Uh, What did you think about the way your team played down there uh, in Florida? You know, the grit and the toughness and the resilience that I feel as though it takes to win three games, well, play three games, sorry, three days. The reason why I said win three games in three days, because the whole time I equated it to what a conference tournament would be like. And you know, going into DePaul, that was sort of the analogy I met I met with the team, um, making that be championship day. So my apologies, but I was just extremely proud of how they fought and how they came together. We handled quite a bit of adversity out there, and it was a good trip for us. Uh, Kylie Cornegay Lucas, looking at the DePaul game, 17 points, 8 rebounds. Quinn Fulmore, another double-double double, double for her, 13 points, 10 rebounds. Uh, the two of them, uh, we, we knew about Kylie last year. We, we were able to see what she uh, is capable of, but Quinn continues to elevate her game, and and the two of them really are just hitting the stride so far this season. Of course, I think their confidence is coming, you know, as games continue to progress, and, you know, it comes with the repetition, the work that we put in practice, and it's just exciting for others on this team to really step up when needed. Uh, playing competition like that, Power 5 competition, how is that for you as a litmus test uh, to see where your team is at and and especially so early in the season, how how was it for you being able to compare, okay, here's Maryland versus us, here's Pitt versus us, and, and comparing what you guys are doing and what they're doing? For sure. You know, honestly, I think it was a really good test of we really can compete with anyone in the country if we stick to the game plan, if we play team defense, if we rebound, <laughs> if we run. So, you know, we do the things that we know make us feel confident. Um the sky's the limit for this this team. And then you mentioned it, uh, very similar to what tournament play will be. Uh, we see coaches do it all the time. How valuable is it to get it early in the season to simulate a tournament type of experience where you're going to play day after day after day and you don't get the rest that you're used to? It's invaluable. Um, that experience that we just had in Fort Myers and even the experience that we just felt versus you know the Morgan State loss, all of this is going to be steps in our journey that we'll get to our 20th game and and we'll almost forget. I'm like, man, that seems so long ago that we learned these kind of things because at the end of the day, the end of the year in April, there's one winner, right? And I think from just a journey perspective, these early season tests are just making us stronger. All right. Let's talk about Morgan State. Uh, A tough loss last night. Um, It just never seemed like you you were able to get into a rhythm. Shots weren't falling. They would go halfway down, pop out. Um, what did you think about the game now that you've had a little bit of time to digest it all and, and, and wrap your head around it? Of course, I've watched it. Um, and again, I just losing the battle of the boards by 20. That is just the first most glaring statistic that goes against everything, who we are and what we do. Um, I just think we came out flat. And again, credit Morgan State. They came out hungry. They came out hot. They continued to make shots. Um, Janai Henson is a really good basketball player. And I think from a humbling experience, as much as I would never, ever want to take a loss, I definitely think our team was humbled and they realized that they need to play hard every single day. Yeah, uh, you mentioned the the rebounding. Uh, in the press conference, you said something to the Tower Light, uh, 23 rebounds, that'll never happen again, and you can put that in the paper. Um, I know you're upset about it. Is the team upset with the way they performed in terms of rebounding? It's interesting because I try to think as if I'm them sometimes, even in just my reaction to how I make decisions, but they know that what we did was subpar. Um I don't know specifically if they feel how we were on the boards, but they will feel it in practice um, as we continue to get better at this. And hopefully, again, 23, that will never happen again. 
And then as the flow of the game continued, there was a couple of times in the first half, and I believe once in the third, where where you tied it, you pulled even. Um, it was just Morgan State had a little bit more in the tank. It it felt like. How did you feel like your team did in a in in those situations where you got close, you got even, but you just weren't able to overcome? And you kind of treading water throughout the game. Yeah, we were playing from behind the entire game from the tip, and I think we almost were stunned. It was. It was shocking and jarring for our team. And that was one of the biggest ounces of adversity we've experienced thus far as a team, because, you know, in our other losses, we ran it the whole game. Um, then it was one thing led to another to a fourth quarter kind of collapse. And those were our last two losses. This was the first time I've coached this team where we were just dominated from the tip. And that's something I don't recognize for this team. But, you know, I trust that we're going to come back and bounce back from this. One bright spot um, I noticed last night, and and I, it wasn't until I looked back at the game and was and was watching the hi- or cutting the highlights up, uh, the amount of and ones that you're that you that they fight through the contact, and they've been successful on on their shot and are able to draw the foul. That's more than I remember even this point in the year last year of of, of Towson team getting. Has that been something you've you've focused on, or is it just this the makeup of these players that they're able to battle through the contact? You know, we focus on finishes and points in the paint almost every day. That's one of the things that we consider in our identity. So I would like to think just with the repetition daily of that, um, I think we have some extraordinary athletes. And I think some of their finishes, um, I don't even know how they make them. So hopefully it's something that we continue to repeat. And hopefully they find value in finishing the play and making the free throw too. Of course. All right. So Morgan State. It's in the books. It's in the past. Uh, Looking ahead now to Princeton coming in on December 5th. Uh, They are coming off a loss to Texas and they will play Maine uh, prior to uh, taking on you. And as of taping, they've yet to play that game. But uh, when you look at Princeton, they're a good team. They're a solid basketball team. Towson played them last year. Uh, What do you see on tape from the Ivy League Tigers? You know, Princeton's discipline. They run their sets to a T. They all do their role. They pass, they screen, they cut, they make open jumpers. Um, They're regimented. And I think for us, that's going to be challenging for us to guard. But I do think there's some some fire from last season. I do think the fact that we do have confidence in things that we showed, you know, that we had the ability to compete in Fort Myers. And we need to have some respect for playing at home. I think that was one of the biggest disappointments in last night was just the respect of like, this is our home court. Let's lock in and protect it. So I'm excited for this next game. We don't back down to anyone. Princeton led in the scoring department by Caitlin Chen with 14.6 a game. Julia Cunningham, 13.2. Uh, they can get offense from anywhere, though. But when you look at those two, anything specific that they do special or they do well that makes them tough to guard? You know, I'm just going to be honest. I have not had that much time to watch Princeton in entirety. I'm very familiar with both of those players and Chen specifically, She's just so she gets her shots where she wants them. And she does a phenomenal job of not taking bad shots. And I think that's the hardest thing. She's able to pull up. She can score multiple levels. And I just think her composure and ability of getting the shots that she wants versus forcing bad ones is what makes her so special. And uh, we were talking about rebounding earlier. Uh, Ellie Mitchell uh, she's a window cleaner, 14.6 rebounds a game or 14.4 rebounds a game so far for her uh, through five. And and as a former post player yourself, when you were going up against or you knew you were going up against somebody that was prolific at grabbing rebounds, how did you approach that? And how do you approach someone like Ellie Mitchell, who's who's going to get her hands on the basketball? For sure. You know, you challenge our players, you know, Quinn Fulmar loves to be challenged. So just to really make sure she knows she has to get a body on her that, you know, let's see, can you get another double-double? So really just flipping the challenge aspect on our players, giving them the statistics and really just loving on them and and telling them that that they're actually, you know, they're better. They're going to get those boards and we're going to battle and continue to fight. All right. The Towson Tigers take on the Princeton Tigers on December 5th inside CQ Arena. I'll have the call alongside Ryan Holder on Flow Sports. For the head coach of the Tigers, Laura Harper, I'm Ben Rosenbaum. Thanks for joining us. And as always, go Tigers.